Steven Tobolowski, what a wonderful actor. You probably know him as Ned Ryerson in Groundhog Day and Sammy Jenkins in Memento, but he actually has a pretty extensive television career and more recently has branched off into podcasting, doing his show The Tobolowski Files, where he tells wonderful autobiographical stories about his life. Uh, and I actually found out about this podcast from another podcast I listened to, a great movie podcast called The Filmcast, formerly the Slash Filmcast. Another fun note about Tobolowski is that he co-wrote the quirky little film called True Stories, uh, which stars and is directed by David Byrne of the band Talking Heads. Few actors are as delightful and charming, so it's my pleasure to profile him on today's episode. I'm Yona Paley, and I believe genealogy is fun. And today, we're gonna be trying to trace the Tobolowski family line as far back as we can. Tobolowski was born 1951 in Dallas, Texas to Dave Tobolowski, a pediatrician, and June Weinstein. And as you can see from the 1940 U.S. federal census, Dave was one of a massive family, one of 10 children. Uh, and as we're going to see, the Tobolowski family uh, resided in Dallas, and they actually had lived in Texas for quite some time before Stephen was born more than 50 years. Dave's parents were immigrants from the former Russian Empire named Abraham Benjamin Tobolowski and Lena Skibelsky. Abraham was a salesman, a traveling salesman, who sold dry goods, uh, and he had sailed to the US sometime in the late 1880s or early 1890s. A lot of his family had come to the US between the 1870s and 1890s, including the parents, Jake Tobolowski and Dora Masha along with four siblings of Abraham's. Thanks to the fact that there are dozens of Tobolowskis buried in the Congregation Shiroth Israel Cemetery in Dallas, Texas, uh, it wasn't too difficult to piece together the relationships between other members of that family. Uh, and as it turns out, Jake actually had at least three younger brothers who had come to the U.S. as well. Their names were Barney, J.W., and Morris, and from their gravestones along with Jake's and a number of other documents like a death certificates, we we're able to learn the names of their parents, which were Stephen Tobolowski's great-great-grandparents. And those were Binyamin, or Benjamin Tobolowski, and Esther Goldman. Esther actually came to the U.S. after she was widowed, and she's buried in the same cemetery along with uh, many of her children. And she was born sometime in the 1820s, which means that Benjamin, or Benjamin, uh, was likely born sometime around there, maybe slightly earlier. And as for where the family came from, well, we're in luck. Because on Abraham Benjamin's Declaration of Intention, it says that he's from a place called Yeshinovsky, Bialystok, Russia, Poland. And after Googling Yeshinovsky, nothing really came up, but I want to show you a pretty simple trick that I used to learn what town the family came from. We know that Bialystok is the district where the family came from, uh, and Bialystok is actually a district I'm pretty familiar with because, uh, as we're going to find out, uh, in part three of my Meet My Family series. I have family from near Bialystok. But anyways, getting back to the Tobolowskis, what we want to do to find a town that uh, is maybe misspelled is we go to the locality page on Jewish Gen for Bialystok and have a look at the nearby communities. And what we're looking for are towns that sound similar to the one that we're trying to find. So if you look just 10 lines down the list of nearby communities, you'll see that there's a place called Yasyanovka. 
And when you click through onto that communities page, you'll see a grouping of alternate names for that town. And one of those is Yeshinovsky, which sounds pretty darn similar to the town that's written on that naturalization record. Sadly, there aren't any Yashinovska records available online. Uh, and when we go to Miriam Wiener's Roots to Roots Foundation, it does say that there are some vital records available from the 1880s and onward. And in order to get those, we would have to actually contact the archive directly and get those. But it's not so clear to me that those records would help us out um, because we know that the family left Poland around the 1880s. We already know that the great-great-grandfather Benjamin or Benjamin Tobolowski likely died in the 1870s or before, and this is because Jake named his firstborn son after him around 1877. So since the records start from the 1880s and onward, we probably wouldn't be able to find a death certificate or anything that would uh, necessarily give us uh, any further generation back. That being said, it's always a good idea to try to exhaust as many records as possible because you never know what you're gonna find. So there you have it. The next time you're watching a movie with Steven, Steven Topolowski, you'll know that his family came from Jasjanowka, a town in Bialystok region of Poland, and that his family settled in Dallas, Texas sometime in the 1800s and remain there for at least another 50 plus years. And that wraps up our episode. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel. As always, I'm looking forward to bringing you more videos about famous Jews, as well as tips and tricks that you can use in your own genealogy research. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll get you next time.